are here in the big room, Maida Vale Studio 3 with Underworld. Welcome, gentlemen. How are you? Good are you all right up there? Well, I'm just about. Yeah, this stool yeah, is, yeah. I mean, it is a little bit it's kind a, of it's wobbly a thing, yeah. up here. Yeah, don't yeah. injure yourself. Riding that you unicycle. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <coughs> How's it you. going? How are you feeling? Uh, good, good. I'm fine. Yeah. Good. Well, yeah, thanks yeah. very much for coming here and, and being part of Six Music yeah. Live. We are so excited Thank to have you, you here today. Us. It's um, great to be back here, actually. It's beautiful. Have you well, got many memories of the, yeah, uh, the studios? Yeah, not thousands, you know, not, not like you have, but, you know, quite a few, some priceless ones and some, some with John that appeal that were fantastic. Mm. And it's also just walking down that long hall, yeah. looking at the photographs, it's just... Fantastic. My father, my father-in-law is probably up there playing with Dudley Moore Trio or somebody wow, like that. Wow, you know, really? Do you reckon? Yeah, yeah. Oh, how it's amazing! Just, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love all that era, you know, big bands and jazz. So it's great, great, lovely to be here. Fantastic. And Carl, you were here for us. It just feels like a matter of weeks ago. Um, yeah, I left my cases. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm resident now. You and Brian Eno, exactly. Yeah, well, resident thank you. idiot. Thank you very much for the uh, for the gig today. Uh, I've seen the set list. Obviously, we don't want to give too much away, but. Oh my goodness! Um, I did. I did let out a gasp of joy <laughs> when I saw it. Um, was it difficult to decide what to play for us today? Because obviously, you know, we're, we're kind of live on the radio. We've well, got some time we constraints. Lie or tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Uh, Steve Hall from JBO went. You want to do this, guys? <laughs> so, so we went. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. So we were yeah. told. You took yeah. a bit of guidance. Yeah. We obeyed. Oh. Excellent. There we go, look in the back there. Yeah. That's yeah. showbiz, you see. It is. Yeah, it's 98% yeah. obedience yeah. in my experience. I, it's enough yeah. to think about putting one foot in front of the other these days. I think it's all down to who you obey, actually. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah, you know. So this is, it's quite a big week for you guys. I mean, it is, you know, the 20th mm. anniversary of Dublin mm. Base with mm. my mm. head, man. Does mm. it feel like 20 years yeah. since that came out? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. No, it does, well, it's, it's kind of disappears, isn't it? As I say, it is one foot in front of the other, and before you know it, it's later that same day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's been a, been a kind of shock, I suppose. That shock that we're still together after 34 years, really. Yeah. So yeah. long, and, and still enjoying it. Yeah. yeah that's pretty Been cool, smooth sailing it? all the way. Oh, hasn't it? yeah, not a crossword <laughs> once ever. <laughs> You've got the reissue out, which is, comes with some pretty fancy deluxe and super deluxe options mm, for, yeah. for, the, for the reissue yeah. of the album. Yeah, thank yeah. my friend there. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I know that you went back to, was it sort of the dats and the master tapes yeah, yeah, and stuff? Yeah, to, that, to was, that, uh, that was epic. And again, you know, uh, you know uh, Steve and, uh, from, uh, from JBO and Darren, Darren Price, who works with us, the DJ, you know, uh, did a fantastic job digging through acres of unmarked tapes and boxes and things pulling out all sorts of stuff you know what kind of things did you find it must have uh, been know, little kind of cl closet <laughs> stuff i mean the, the thing is you know if people love the stuff as well you know for me i, I couldn't have done all of that you know as well as because some of it is just a bit too painful to mm. listen to you go oh well, that's why that didn't come out right you know? in, in, <laughs> because opinion, because you, you, know? you know you kind of abandoned it well this isn't working yeah, or I whatever think, mm, i remember that it was <laughs> Sorry, but i think know? i guess you get a different perspective on those kinds of things over time as well yeah. i mean carl you yeah. were talking to us just on on the phone on the show a few yeah. weeks ago about the fact that a lot of the songs from the album have kind of taken on a different life yeah. in the interim because mm, obviously yeah. you know you've performed mm. them live mm, and yeah. they've mm. been in films and that and, and, you know some of them been kind of anthems and, and, and kind of become attached to yeah. moments in history yeah. almost which is a weird thing yeah mm. how has it been to revisit the album as a as a kind of object as a body of work in its own right well it's been strange and wonderful at the same time but really odd because the way of, of performing something gets ingrained and, and evolves over 20 years there's, there's one piece that one song that we do in the set for for the album that we've done since it came out mm -hmm. and and it's got its own life now and you're kind of having to rail everything back in and there's lots of notations you know come in there well, i never come in there no you have to come in there because it says so <laughs> That's how it you know, yeah, yeah, yeah and this yeah. is of course all getting ready for this big gig which is coming up on the south bank yeah. this weekend mm -hmm. um what can you tell me about that how are you feeling what, what can people expect? Uh, excited and, and, and looking, f it's been a lot of work getting stuff together to do, uh, to try and do a remarkable, beautiful thing. Have you been um, down there? There are huge yeah. posters everywhere, oh, all yeah. around, yeah. Uh, yeah, the RFH, we, we trumpeting of, your we arrival. We got very flashy then, booked it out to do a sound check. Which was quite shocking, actually. Yeah. So we sort of yeah. came away going, "Oh God, I'm really glad we did that." <laughs> yeah. We should have done that in a rehearsal. Yeah. 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 Whoa, okay. That was so <laughs> Go back home and rethink. Yeah. So, and have you got a lot of friends and family coming? Because I would guess that it's yeah. a big kind of personal moment as yeah. well as a big professional. Yeah. Moment. London's always a tough one because it's it's always the massive guest list, which isn't really enough to accommodate everybody that you really want to, you know, say thank you to. And so, um, so we've had to come back and do some more shows. But but uh, it's going to be quite emotional, I think. 
I yeah. think, you know, there are a lot yeah. of shows that we've done and you, and you go, oh, yeah. it's great to be here, it's great to play those things and so, certain tracks that we do which will evoke memories and, and you know, mm -hmm. get, take you back mm -hmm. to something that was happening at the time. But there's going to be a lot of people in the audience that were there with us in the beginning and we, got, we had a huge amount of support in those days and, mm -hmm. and it, they're going to be there and you, you know, feel that. So, I mean, take us back a bit to, to, to the time no, when, when Dublin of Bass with My you Headline. No, when it first came out, because it's one of those things where, you know, retrospectively, people say, oh, yeah, that was a, a kind of game changing album, and that was a, you know, it defined the era and it changed the landscape and it brought together things that had never really been brought together before <coughs> in that way. Yeah. At the time, did it, did it feel like you had something that might change things on your hands, or was it, or was it not like that? How was it for you? I mean, I was proud of, you know, what we're doing and loved the material. And, and for Carl and I had been, already been together, you know, for 13, 14 years. It was a lovely feeling to be proud of something because I hadn't been for like a decade. I'd been kind of, mm, we're rubbish. Um, so that was wonderful. But no, I mean, we didn't know what people were going to make of it. Everything was, but it was part of the joy. It was each time something came out was, oh, people like it. Oh, more people like it, and even more people like it, and so you know it was it was wonderful. You know, biggest shock of all for me was the weird experience of hearing um, Bone Slippy on Radio One at nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah. it, it felt wrong, <laughs> you know. I just, but, it was did like, you? I couldn't yeah. eat my cornflakes like, with that. Oh, what, just what's like... this now? Hang on a second. This isn't <laughs> what it's about. <laughs> How long did it take you to get your head around all of that? I then? still can't get my head <laughs> no, around it. Uh, it's, no, odd. it's really no. odd. It's really, really yeah. odd. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of, I, I, I say this quite often. I still feel like I'm, I'm waiting to get a record deal because it took <laughs> us so long, and, and we've always been a little bit outsider in our in our thinking and, and out the way we are and, and that's why it, and our, yeah. outside of pants and outside and it was that was why it was a big surprise when we were accepted and, and people got into our music yeah I mean it is it's one of those funny things which is often the way that you know things that become really popular they're combining things that kind of don't really go together I mean yeah. it's like so yeah. the, the album's like a mixture of techno and ambient sounds and poetry mm -hmm. and all, all and this indie stuff, stuff yeah, yeah exactly yeah. And, and but then very much from a band mm. Yeah. You know, that, that, I, I, who would have bet on that to, to become such a kind of epoch-defining record? Very odd, yeah. There was one night when we were down at the, uh, the drum club that used to happen at the Behind Heaven mm. on, a, I think it was Thursday night, and we used to go down there, and somebody said, you've got to come down and see Sven Veit is, is playing, and he's going to play out um, Skyscraper. And, oh, fantastic. And, and Rick and, and Darren had made these mixes for DJs to play out. We are like, great, oh, he's going to play one of those. And he played the flip side, which was the album version. And a real shock when everybody danced and there was mm. vocals and guitars and it was this great long album epic. And it felt then like something had shifted very fast and kind of something in the zeitgeist had altered. Well, it's actually really nice to be 20 years down the line from it so you can sort of look back and, yeah. and reappraise it a bit yeah. in some ways. Yeah. 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 Well, we're delighted yeah. to have you with us today. Underworld, thank you so much. I know Thanks. you're going to be playing live after 12, so I'm going to let you crack on with getting ready. Thank you. But for now, guys, thank you. Thank you.